Okay, good morning, Martin. How are you? Fine, how are you? Okay, fine, thank you. So we are here at Cycling World in uh, Düsseldorf and uh, you are here with something very cool and special, thank like you. a carbon uh, cargo bike. So can you give us uh, a little bit intro uh, introduction about yourself and tell us something about how you, that you came up with the idea to, uh, to build a carbon cargo okay. bike? Sure. Yeah, well, it all uh, started four or five years ago. Uh, where we had the idea to uh, build uh, something something unique. So uh, my, my daytime job, so to say, is um, a consultant for the composite industries, uh, for windmills, industry, automotive. Uh, but I'm also a passionate cyclist. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we uh, thought about building something uh, out of composite in the bike industry, which is there are already very good products like uh, road bikes, mountain bikes, uh, but uh, the idea was um, maybe we could create something special and unique uh, uh, in the cargo bike industry. And uh, in these uh, today, uh, cargo bikes are getting more and more heavy. They they put in uh, two batteries and a huge motor and and all, and, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Uh, uh, things we think uh, which are not uh, necessary uh, when you uh, live in an area where you don't have uh, mountains or uh, 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 and you don't carry a lot of weight uh, every day. So the idea was to go the other way, mm -hmm. uh, to build it lightweight, to, to create something which uh, is more design driven maybe. Uh, and this is how it started and uh, we uh, got into contact with the designer. Uh, who helped us with the uh, with, uh, with the shape and with the design, um, and then we made an, uh, the engineering and uh, built uh, some prototypes to yeah with the idea to just make a couple of uh, bikes mm -hmm. five or six uh, for for all the people involved. Um, and after we did that, we thought mm, now we got all the tools and uh, spent a lot of time and an effort into that. Uh, why not um, make it to business case and and maybe. Uh, bring it to a market and that in these days we thought it might take a couple of months maybe one or two years mm -hmm. five years later now we're here to <laughs> ready to okay. yeah, to, 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 to go to the market to, to uh, uh, look out for customers and also for, for, for um, uh, shops or um, uh, uh, companies who, who help us to support the us to, to sell it yeah. to source it um, yeah that's why we're here yeah and okay. Uh, yeah, see how the, the, the customers react, how the people react to our product, and yeah, yeah that's it. Okay. That's the story, long story in short form. Yeah, behind. okay. So, and the, the, the brand name is Maniac Insane, and that uh, points towards the two separate uh, versions of the bike, I think? Yeah, um, it, it, mainly it, 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 it points to uh, maybe the, the type of people uh, who are how many cyclists might be, so mm -hmm. they are uh, in some way a little bit crazy, but also uh, they have this idea of uh, living a sane or healthy life. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we thought we, we could also split it up uh, with the two types of bikes that mm -hmm. we have. So we have the, the Maniac, which is very lightweight, non-electric, so, so to say bio-powered. Um, and we have the Sane, which is a little bit uh, longer, with, which has a, a, a motor, uh -huh. uh, which, which has some, some more storage space. Uh, so that's, that's the idea behind yeah, the name. That's the difference. Okay. okay. So we have here now uh, a, a blue one. Uh, maybe you can tell us a bit, uh, this is the electrical one then. Right, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's with the rear hub uh, yeah. motor and it's... Uh, it's a neo drives that uh, that's inside. Right. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, as I said, or as you as you might imagine, mm -hmm. we um, uh, we have a quite a special product, which is uh, uh, which we don't expect to sell in, in a huge amount, uh, mm -hmm. in a huge number. So we have to to keep it simple, so to say. Yeah. Uh, and we decided to, uh, if, uh, with the electric version, we 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 decided to. to uh, to do it as a hub motor, uh, because this allows us to to, uh, to build one frame, yeah. and then we can use it as a biopowered or with a motor. Yeah, yeah. And even if a customer buys uh, 
a, 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 a motor powered bike he can also switch the rear wheel and he can he can switch between like a, a electrical version or the other way around, around. can uh, buy uh, one with without motor and, and then change it, it uh, afterwards, afterwards uh, yeah, with the, yeah. With the motor. so then you just have to put in up front all the cabling and then it's right. uh, yeah right. okay so and where's the the, the battery uh, yeah. inside the bike uh, the battery is uh, placed below the, the platform ah yeah below the so, deck uh, yeah. You can charge it on the bike or you mm -hmm. can remove the battery and charge it somewhere else. Yeah. Um, the idea of the design is to, to keep to have it clean so that uh, reduce the cables or uh, things uh, yeah. that, that you can see from the outside. Everything runs through inside right. of the bike. That's yeah. why we hide the battery uh, yeah. below the platform. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so, and can people also like uh, buy a frame kit and do the the rest of the parts themselves or do you or are you going to sell it as a complete bike uh, it will be sold uh, purely as a complete bike uh, we have some some dealers which um, plan to 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 make setups for us or for for their customers mm -hmm. uh, but we will not sell at least not in the beginning sell the frame kit to to, to the separate customer. yeah yeah but you can do some customizing if you yes. want to yeah yeah we uh, plan to, to build uh, 100 pieces per year, 100 bikes per year, mm -hmm. um, and the customer can decide uh, about the color, so uh, which, uh, which color he likes, or also uh, if he wants to have uh, many, uh, multiple colors on the frame, mm -hmm. that would be possible. Uh, but and also the group set or details uh, from the setup can be, can yeah. be built up differently. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, and with the mechanical one, you just use like the external gears, like uh, derailleur setup, and uh, yes, yeah. But also, you can if you if you don't like uh, the the normal shifting, you can also uh, choose to, to to have a roll off hub uh, ah, yeah. um, gear, mm -hmm. uh, maybe also combined with the gates drive if if you like. Yeah. So we yeah. built that up. It works quite well, mm -hmm. and uh, it makes it even more clean and more maintenance free yeah okay so and the, the wheel size it's like uh, 26 in the back right. and a 20 inch in the front right. yes. and you also have uh, like a front wheel suspension i see if you like you uh -huh. can have a, a suspension fork uh -huh. um, me uh, personally i uh, prefer the uh, the rigid fork uh -huh. uh, because it's it's more light weight and yeah. uh, uh, with a light bike, you can also lift the front wheel by pulling the, the, the handlebar. Uh -huh. and so, yeah. for that, I don't think it's necessary to have a no. uh, suspension fork, but if you like, you can have it. Yeah, okay. So, and the uh, and, uh, storage deck, it's uh, with the special system I see. It's also, it will come as a standard, or it's also it's a kind of option that you... Uh... Uh, and, and the standard version will be for, for the big one, for the long platform. Mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, I think they call it air rails. Mm -hmm. it's, it's from the car industry. Mm -hmm. So it's very flexible. You can uh, attach some straps or boxes and, 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 and mount it quite easily without, without tools. Mm -hmm. uh, the shorter version comes with just uh, some, some holes where you can put in some, some uh, screws or yeah. some... some some connectors. Um, that's the standard setup where the bikes, how the bikes are delivered. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think a customer will choose some some uh, further options like boxes or some a pen or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there will be some options available okay. for that as well. So you will also make some uh, carbon boxes for the bike. Uh, uh, when, when we meet again in June and at the Aerobike, we will have some, some kind of a cradle, uh -huh. uh, which, which also has some kind of a lid. Uh -huh. uh, but we, we will not be the, uh, the, the, the company who delivers everything that's possible or imaginable. Mm. Uh, that's, we're not big, big enough for that. Yeah. But there will be some options and some, some possibilities to, yeah. to yeah. Yeah, that you don't have some kind of wooden box that you have to build on your own. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you for your time. You're welcome. See you. Thank you. Bye.